Well, then in 2021, you finally get out. Right. You did the whole nine years, two months? No, I didn't do the exact whole nine years, two months. Um, I did a program in there. It was a cognitive behavior program. And it's called RDAP. A lot of people, you know, who are watching this, they probably know about it. It's a drug program or whatever not. And so, um, you know, um, I didn't get the full year. I was supposed to have went to it earlier out um, in 2018, but um, my mother passed. And um, I didn't, um, I couldn't, I couldn't, it's a rigorous program and my head wasn't wrapped tight to go into that program because I'm mourning my mother. I'm in prison. My family in sh shambles because all of my brothers, the people who support me, I can hear they pain in the phone. Like they fucked up. We lost mama. Yeah, and you couldn't go to the funeral. No, I'm in federal, I'm in federal custody. Yeah. So my brother, he want to pay for me to go, but I'm like, I don't want to be here in shackles with two guards at my mama. No, man, yeah. that ain't cool. That ain't cool. So, you know, my brothers, they had to facilitate and take care of everything with my mama. You know, straight up, real talk. So... Yeah, I was in that mind state, so I couldn't really go into the program. But then I started understanding what the program was about. And being in a program like that, to have a place where I could sit down and talk to skilled help about some of the ways that I thought about things, I approached things in my past, you know, my condition in the neighborhoods which I grew up in and the things that I did and be able to have a place where I can talk about things in an open setting with skilled help, you know, a lot of, you know, it's a cliche for, for people to talk to psychologists, you know, fuck you doing talking to me. But sometimes, you know, one of the people there inside of the program told me, your best thinking put you here, Mr. Williamson, your best thinking put you in a federal prison. Your best thinking put you here. I ain't put you in jail. At the end of the night, I'm finna go hit this lock, hit the other lock, and I'm going home. I'ma lay on my couch, I'ma eat a ham sandwich and drink some orange juice and watch whatever shit on Netflix. But you, you finna be here. And I want you to understand that this is like Motel 6, the, the lights is always on. And you can leave, but the prison will continue to keep moving. And, and so I just took it into myself, like when she said that it just resonated to me in a way, just like maybe I need to really get this shit a try and try to get home. And so, you know, I ended up getting seven months off of my sentence. I could have got more, but I wasn't prepared to go into that program. Like I said, and I was dealing with all of the emotional, you know, things with my mother passing and, you know, it's so crazy. Back to Harry O, you know, he was sitting there and the chaplain came and he was like, uh, you know, when the chaplain come, you know, the, the chaplain, you know, he like the reaper. You see the chaplain pull up with the beard and he look over there at you. Everybody know, they know something that happened. Yeah, so happened. Harry O, the first one, he's like, Black, everything all right? And I ain't even know how to just tell O like, Man, I just lost mama. And he just, he's like, Black, it's gonna be all right, whatever it is. I guess spiritually, he just felt something was bigger. When he watched the chaplain come, he knew, he knew it. And I, you know, I finally told him. And uh, my boy Piggy, you know, he pulled me outside and was like, man, damn, Black, I mean, you know, you know. So yeah, 